Let's imagine my brother is on a swing. He moves back and forth at a certain rhythm. If I push him with the same rhythm, I can increase the energy of his swings without exerting much energy, but I would have a harder time trying to push him at another rhythm. Similarly, electrons tend to oscillate at a rhythm known as their natural frequency. When we add light energy to the system, electrons are exposed to an electric field. Positive charges move in the same direction as the electric field, while negative charges move in the opposite direction. In an electric field, a particle's nuclei and electrons begin to move in separate directions, but don't get very far apart since opposite charges attract. With a negative charge on one side and a positive on the other, a stronger electric field forms immediately around the particle. This is known as amplification. In light waves, the electric field flips back and forth. This causes oscillations of electrons known as Langmuir waves. Like pushing a swing, when a light's wavelength matches the particle's natural frequency, resonance occurs as electrons move in sync with the light waves. This maximizes the amount of light energy that the particle's electric field can capture. Langmuir waves only occur for small conductive particles. Conductors have mobile electrons which can move more easily away from the nucleus. Particles smaller than the wavelength of light oscillate since they experience a uniform electric field that pulls all electrons in one direction and nuclei in the other, while larger particles can't since they don't experience the same electric field throughout. One application is using gold nanoparticles to treat cancer. When stimulated by red light, the amplified electric field releases heat in a localized area, killing cancer cells without damaging nearby body cells. And that's how tiny particles can pack a big punch.